folks. Good evening. You all right? Yeah. Yes. So I'd like to introduce you to uh, our first turn tonight. And he's a man who needs no introduction. He's one of the most famous faces on television. Um, I forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> His screen character, Ken Barlow, is a real babe magnet, isn't he? That's face, isn't it? Oh. Very nice, though. <laughs> Portuguese red from the Alentejo, which is basically the subtle heart of Portugal before you get to the Algarve. Uh -huh. Alentejo and... <laughs> Cry with the crown on and the collar. <laughs> Actually, my, my little stepdaughter said to me, you know what she said, when you're... On... <laughs> I told you this chair's got mad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd sooner have Ozzy Osbourne as Chancellor. <laughs> I'll tell you what, because at least with Ozzy, the only cuts made would be the effing and blinding from his speech, that's all. <laughs> Do you know what got my back up? The oh, those Tories whooping and hollering when they heard about the cuts. Did you see them? We should take to the streets. We should be vocal in our fight against oppression. We should let... Oh, we should let them know... Taking these draconian cuts lightly. I was in the downstairs loo having a nice read, you know, mm -hmm. sitting there, a bit of peace. You know, I could mm -hmm. sit there for hours, just sitting there. Mm -hmm. And the dogs were going crazy. In the end, I thought, what's up with them? So I just got up and literally shuffled through, you know, with the pants around my ankles. And here's Dot, my cow in the kitchen. And she was eating a bit of yellow fish that was from the night before in the sink. <laughs> so then am I going to get out? So I opened the fridge thinking I'll get a lettuce, that might lure her. So she puts her head in the fridge, wrecks it, oh. lifts her tail and wheeze all over the place. Got excited. Yeah, they're highly excited. They don't just wee, it's like a... Like a fire hose. <laughs> I mean, they went up the wall. So my trousers around my ankles were sodden, so I kicked them off. And I eventually get her out with a tub of parsley. Am I going down the garden and I'm thinking, I hope nobody walks in now. <laughs> Cos I'm naked from the race down with a cow. And then I, when I came down to London to work for Camden Council and I was a care officer and used to provide respite care, so if a parent went into hospital to save the children going, being all split up and put into foster homes or whatever, I'd go in the house as a substitute parent. Oh, wow. So it was sort of like a Mary Poppins, really. How nice. It must be now, for goodness sake, Paul, it's 11 years ago now, when I turned 50, and you came and did the show. I was sitting on the sofa. I had no idea who it was going to be. And I was so thrilled <laughs> that it was you. Can you believe that's 11 years ago? Crazy. Was that 11 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Is that oh, that's right. I was supposed to be the stripper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my. I'm all about to see you. This is my latest addition. This is sausage. This is sausage. Sausage came from Romania. Oh, She's got sausage. a Polish chip. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I don't and speak the um, language. We would be delighted if you would do us the honour of becoming a Battersea ambassador. No, really? Yes. I could think of nothing nicer. I'm not. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> when do I start? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. As ambassador, I get to come here whenever I want and promote Battersea and rescue dogs to the world. It's the best job ever. We have one thing that we would like to give you. Come with me. On behalf of everyone and all our animals, thank you. <laughs> of course, it's Buster. Bus Buster died on Thursday night. <gasps> He was riddled with cancer. He had cancer in his neck, in his face, and a tumour in his leg. And the kindest thing for me to do was to let him go. The worst thing I could have ever done in my life, but it had to be done, cos otherwise it'd have just been selfish. <laughs> but whatever you are, boss, you're gone, but not forgotten, kid. Give him a big cheer. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. I tell you something. I'm never getting another bloody pet. Oh, just what's up? <laughs> this is the last Sunday Paul O'Grady show here on Radio 2 ever. Yeah. It's hard to say this, Malcolm. Yes. Because it, um, it's been almost 14 years, hasn't it? Anyway, I always used to say I was running from the building and there was a great big bubble that catch me on Oxford Street and bring me back like the prisoner. But it's not today. I can run free. So um, I'm hanging up my headphones, but listen, thank you for all your messages, for your lost shops, your pubs and for your friends and your deceased pets. And to everyone who's taken part in the show, I've really, really enjoyed my 14 years. And Malcolm, thank you so much to you. You're very welcome and the same to you, Paul, on behalf of your loyal listener. 
anyway listen thank you very very much for listening i really really appreciate it because let's face it it wouldn't have been the same without you would it (laughs) anyway this is our guaranteed happy ending our final happy ending thank you for tuning in these past 546 programs so you look after yourselves yeah stay safe and well to everyone (laughs) 